Oh, here we go. City versus Chelsea. A big one. Lukaku. Oh, Lukaku's in. Romelu Lukaku. Still going for Chelsea. Plays it. Oh, what? Why are you playing that? Just shoot. They're paying 95 million quid for you. You shoot that. Oh, gives it away. And now it's Jack Grealish. Grealish. Oh, he's missed. That's a phenomenal save by Kepa Riza Balaga. Cancelo, good ball. It's De Bruyne. City are coming through. De Bruyne rides the challenge. Go for it! Oh, KDB! He's been the MVP today! The best player on the pitch! Does it again against Chelsea! A great finish, great quality! Rides the challenge, says enough is enough! The captain drags his team ahead! <whistles> Manchester City have done it. If anyone didn't already know it, the Premier League title is going to Manchester. Now listen, I know the Liverpool right have two games to play in which they can close the gap and whatever, but it's City's. Unfortunately, City are just way too good. For City, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Out of nowhere, like that, could just create a moment of magic. Chelsea were very, very stubborn. Nil-nil, there's always something to play for. And Kevin De Bruyne, the captain, grabs the game by the scruff of the neck. Weirdly though, despite Manchester City winning, I do want to shout out a Chelsea player. I thought the Malang Sar was absolutely outstanding today. Raheem Sterling did not have a clear shot on goal. Malang Sar was all over him 24-7. I thought he had an excellent performance. On the City side, obviously Kevin De Bruyne is going to get the plaudits, rightfully so, because he was absolutely outstanding again. Two damn good. There's a big, big danger of the Premier League becoming like what others accuse league uh the bundesliga the eredivisie of being and that's just one team leagues the premier league is very very close to being part of that conversation to being part of that accusation and i mean who could blame anyone for discussing it manchester city just so 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 good and i have faith in my team i have belief in my team and my club but i have to be honest <laughs> i can't be yes it just does seem like manchester city have the Premier League in both hands right now.